Good morning, brothers and sisters. We've been doing these live stream prayer and meditation and encouragement messages for almost a year now, which is startling when I think of it because our original intent was to do this for maybe two weeks. Well, the best laid plans, as they say, uh, and obviously COVID had different thoughts for us. But uh, between Father Vince, Father Chris, and myself, we put a fair amount of effort and energy into coming up with, with messages of encouragement, of, of hope. And having moved from a two-week period to 11 months, makes it a bit challenging to come up with, with new material and the temptation is to sort of recycle things. Like on television, they have reruns, right? Well, we haven't resorted to reruns yet. We're not running videos of things we did months and months ago, but we find that there are a number of different topics that really bear repeating. And so this is gonna be one of those where I'm gonna take something that I've already talked about in the past and repeat it. But lest you think that that's because we're running out of ideas, well, maybe there's a little truth in that, but this I'm going to the thing I'm going to talk about today is because it bears repeating in people's minds and hearts. As a pastor, I spend a lot of time talking to people and hearing about their challenges and how their state of mind is in this strange COVID world in which we live. And so this message, well, this message goes to all of them, and it's one you might have heard before. It's, it's very simple. It's, it's three words. Misery is optional. Let me say it again. Misery is optional. No, you can't control the circumstances in which we live right now. Try as you might, you can't make COVID go away. You can't remove the restrictions that we have. We all have to live with the face masks and the, the uh, worries about when we're gonna be able to get the vaccine and what's gonna happen. And planning is, uh, well, it's an interesting challenge in today's world. You can't make all that go away, but you do have a choice. And the choice is this. Do you choose to let that make you miserable or not? That's an important distinction because that's something that you do in fact control. No, you can't go to restaurants and hang out with your friends. No, you can't go to church tomorrow morning and come into our lovely building and worship with one another. We don't have the option of handshakes and hugs like we have in the past, but you do have the choice about whether you'll let that make you miserable or not. What does that look like? What does that feel like? Well, here's the deal. You can wallow in what we don't have and let that make you miserable, but you know what's gonna happen, right? That becomes sort of a downward spiral, and what does that do for you? It just increases your misery. Misery is not a good thing, and it's not something that we should look for. Instead, brothers and sisters, I'm gonna suggest that you instead look to embrace joy. Well, Rick, how do I do that? I, you know, I, all that stuff you just said, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do this. Where would I find joy in that? Oh, that's, that's, the, that's the really interesting part, my friends. Look out the window. The sun is shining. It's starting to warm up. I, I don't know about y'all, but I'm an early riser. I'm usually up before the sun. And here's something I wanted, I'll, I'll share with you that I've noticed. The sun is coming up earlier every single day. And that's a beautiful thing. We're gonna have a lot more daylight as the days continue. And daylight in Las Vegas is a great thing. The weather is warming up. Now, for those of you in Texas who are watching this, I'm sorry, but for those of us here in Las Vegas, spring is already here. Late February is a beautiful time of year. There, there's a great Facebook meme that says, and my favorite thing about winter is watching it on television from Las Vegas. I know, my apologies to you who are stuck in the snow, but there's something that we can all be grateful for here in Las Vegas, brothers and sisters. We can take joy and pleasure in that. So no, you can't go to your favorite cafe and you can't do this, but 
you can instead focus on the things that you can do. You can focus on the ability to participate in these live streams. You can focus on the ability to call and talk to your friends. We have so much technology that makes our world better. You can FaceTime people, we have Zoom, we have ways of interacting that allow us to share that joy between us. So always look for that. And if it sounds like I'm being Pollyanna, I guess there is sort of an, an aspect of that, but it does sort of come down to how do you view the world? Do you view the world through that, that pessimistic, the glass is half empty lens? Or do you view the world as the optimist saying that glass is half full? Well, there's always a third way, my friends. We are Episcopalians after all, that via media, that middle road. For one of the things people don't recognize all that often is it doesn't matter whether that glass is half empty or half full. What matters is that it can always be refilled. You can always pour more into that glass. That's embracing joy and not embracing misery. So this morning, don't look at the things that you don't have and don't let that make you miserable. Instead, look for ways to embrace joy and beauty for they are all around us. That's it. That's this morning's message. One you've heard before, but one that, boy, I think really bears repeating. So today, I want you to go out and I want you to focus on the joy. And I have a little homework assignment for those of you who will participate with us tomorrow in our Faith Matters Forum at 9 a.m. Bring with you one piece of joy that you have had this year. I mean, sorry, this day, this year. See, my head is a little spinning here. Bring with you something that you have noticed today that brings you joy and helps you to, to avoid the misery. And we'll talk about that tomorrow morning at our nine o'clock class. Until then, God bless you, God love you, and we'll see you tomorrow.